This is the updated build for the Poison Sword, Anti-Gravity Bow, and Molotov Cocktail. This will work after the 1.19.50 update. So for the Poison Sword, we're going to be uh, looking in the box, but we have no sword this time. Now uh, I changed the mechanics. You'll see that as soon as I turn it on, I get the sword automatically. Let me switch over to survival mode so it'll work and summon in something to hit with a sword. <laughs> so you'll see that it's automatically taking damage. Tick after tick after tick, it's getting hurt more and more. And then I should just be able to finish it off. Let me do that one more time. Again, you hit it once and it's just continuously taking damage. And then you just need to finish it off. All right, so inside that first command block, it's repeating meets redstone. And that command is going to be slash execute at brown code 67, put your username. Run replace item entity at s slot dot hot bar zero keep diamond sword one nine 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 nine. So this is going to automatically give you that diamond sword anytime you don't have one there. And then I got a chain conditional always active command block here. And that's got a delay of one tick. Now the command for that's going to be slash execute at a has item item equals diamond sword location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand run execute positioned carrot carrot one carrot three run effect at e r equals three has item item equals diamond sword quantity equals zero wither ten three true. And what this is going to do is this is going to give the wither effect not the poison effects because poison doesn't affect so many mobs. Zombies, skeletons, spiders, none of those get affected. All right, the anti-gravity bow is next. So let's go ahead and get that out of the shulker box here. It's just a regular bow. And then we'll turn this on. And let's summon in some crap to make go flying up in the air. All right, so first arrow. And there goes some slimes in the iron golem. And then if we wait, we'll see that the iron... Oh, wait a second. Oop, I hit him. Got a miss. Iron Golem doesn't take fall damage? That's crazy. What about the pig? Yep, pig died. Alright, so we're going to be starting off with a repeating command block that needs redstone. And the command is just going to be slash test for at E type equals arrow. Then we have a comparator. It's going to be going into a repeating command block here. This one also needs redstone. That's going to be slash execute at at E type equals arrow run effect at E type equals exclamation point arrow tag equals exclamation point archer R equals four levitation one 100 true. So that actually gives the levitation effect. Then the chain command block here is conditional always active and that slash kill at E type equals arrow. Then over here we have another comparator running into another repeating command block. This one is, uh, needs redstone as well. And that's going to be slash execute at E type equals arrow run tag. At P has item item equals bow location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand add archer. So whoever shoots the arrow, um, if they have a bow in their main hand, they're going to get tagged as the archer. And that's going to help determine who doesn't get affected. All right, now we are moving on to the Molotov Cocktails. So you're going to need to grab a lingering water bottle. It can be any lingering potion, but uh, I use the water bottle so it has no other effects. And then you just basically throw it and it summons in a whole bunch of fire all over the place. You can do this just on Flatland or on Entities. <laughs> Burn! Die. Good thing command blocks are uh, pretty much indestructible. Get in the fire. Get in the fire. Ha ha. So this is going to be starting off with a repeating command block just like the rest that needs redstone. And the command here is going to be slash test for at E type equals lingering potion. Now I have a comparator running into another repeating command block. Needs redstone. And the command on that is going to be slash execute at at E type equals lingering potion run TP at E name equals target tilde tilde two tilde. So that's going to TP an item named target above where the potion is when you throw it. 
Then this one here is an impulse. It's going to be slash execute at at e type equals lingering potion run execute positioned tilde tilde two tilde run summon armor stand target. So this one's going to summon an armor stand named target above the potion. So that's actually the target that's going to continuously be teleported above it. And then we'll go over here to these command blocks here, and these are going to work with that armor stand a little bit more. So this first one here is repeating, always active. That's going to be slash effect at E, name equals target, invisibility 110 true. So that armor stand is going to be invisible as soon as it gets spawned in. Then there's a comparator leading into another repeating command block. This one is needs redstone. That's going to be slash execute at, at E, name equals target, run fill. Tilde negative one, tilde negative one, tilde negative one, tilde one, tilde two, tilde one, fire, zero, replace air. So this is going to summon fire in everywhere that there's air around where the splash potion hits. So entities, the ground, they're all going to get caught on fire but not deleted. Then another comparator leading into an impulse command block. And that's going to be slash kill at E, name equals target. That's going to kill the armor stand after the fire is summoned in around it. If you haven't seen it yet, check out this video here with updated commands for the Magnet Trident, Omega Shield, and Sticky Grenades. This is Browncoat67, I'll catch you next time.